Yesterday, we watched Equestron, and now today, we are, ironically, gonna watch some more Cinemarsons by Little Shy FIM. <laughs> yeah, that is indeed ironic! It's been a long time since I last reacted to him, so I'm happy that I'm back to reacting to his content, I truly am. Oh, am I happy too? Up next are everything wrong with testing, testing, one, two, three, trade ya, and inspiration, manifestation. The first one is when I was prepared for a test that got me into the Wonder Bolts reserves. The second one is when we all go to Rainbow Falls for a trade fair. And the third one is when I lose my creative mojo when you found the spell book from the castle of the two sisters. Okay, first off, I didn't mean to find that book. And secondly, I consider this as one of the better Spike episodes. Yes, I said it. I said that I like this episode more than the likes of How's Well It Ends Well, Dragon Quest, and that god awful Spike at your service. I'm pretty sure some pony is gonna agree with you. But anyway, first video. I'm gonna start the video, so let's go. Fly right up to her and tell her what I think about Oh, I see what you did there with the title of this video. How in a quest does that pony expect to pass her history of the Wonderbolts exam tomorrow if she's wasting time flying? Speaking enormous amounts of exposition to self, sin combo. Well, that's two for the price of one. Transform into only three sheets. Because a lot of sheets was too much for you, probably. Desk and or blackboard hasn't been moved a couple inches. Also, does the spell force unwilling participants to sit when needed? I think so, yes. Difficult wings! Difficult wings. book appears huge due to the camera angle, but then Dash puts her hooves on it to prove it's actually huge, but only for that one shot. Maybe the book is shrunken a little bit! She doesn't even need to move her mouth to do so. Headed by General Firefly. General Firefly later left the team due to creative differences. Lightning shower down on the crowd. It was a tragic event. Twilight still uses a blackboard, even though this is possible. One word, magic! Of course, the fact Twilight doesn't see this, or the fact Hasbro didn't think they could get away with a real whoopee cushion joke until season six. I think I'll go Twilight with the second one. Murders Fernando's cousin. Well, if you can horse around like this. Horsing around like this. Because we're horses! Yes, answers are ridiculously off the mark. General Blazing Donut Glaze! That one actually sounds like a pony name. Celestia's favorite flight pattern, the Icaranian Sun Salutation. Icarus is a story from Greek mythology about a man with artificial wings who flew too close to the sun, dropped from the sky, and died. This line also references Rarity's... Oh yeah! Back in I know that's all Greek stuff that you've talked about here, darling! The sin here is that Celestia's favorite flight pattern is the one where she gets to potentially witness a pony's death. In a family-friendly show! Try to wrap your head around that! Not a moment too soon. Well, at least I stopped them from bickering without apologizing. Sisters again, and Discord isn't ruining their day. Nearly all of Dash's friends help her study for this test. Which begs the question, is Rainbow Dash the only pony to not know this history? Well, technically, yes! Hi, my prior! Dash and Rarity to get there and dress up in time. But I, Pinky, am really real. Foreshadowing of when we discover she's just one of the mirror pool clones. Hey, that was a season ago, just saying. Which came first, the name of the apple or the apple's name? I don't know. So that bit of trivia has nothing to do with anything at the moment. Spike is here one second, gone the next. I'm like, the storyboarders did a great job of keeping them animated while simply flying straight and talking. That is, until the camera looks away, at which point they become static cardboard cutouts floating through the air. Half of the kids watching this don't know what it means to rewind a tape. The other half of the kids watching this are adults. <laughs> find out okay, that one was reasons. funny. Equestrian weather links to Pegasi emotion, and you thought the Rainbow Factory was a dark fan fiction. Gosh, yeah, that is indeed dark. Look like. You don't want to know. The telescope along one axis of movement, which somehow translates into two. Most of the ponies on this platform have no way of getting up here. What's going on? Read any good books lately? Twilight acts as though she hasn't yes. seen Dash for a while now, even though they just spoke mere moments ago. That's a pretty good point there. As dry as a rock. Maybe I'll learn to shine shoes. Just getting my dreams crushed. No other plans for the rest of my life. Rainbow Dash's social media posts that day caused her to lose many a friend and follower. Did you know Pinkie Pie grew up on a rock farm? Yeah, we were there just a couple episodes ago. Uh huh. He's right, you know. How much of a loser she is. Then she lands at her giant mansion with her alicorn friend. Rainbow Dash's tail detaches. Oh, I don't want that to happen with my tail. Luna impression is spot on. Because Somehow, both Rarity and Luna are voiced by Tabitha St. Germain. Above and talking with Twilight. Yes, that's the whole point of this episode's conflict resolution, but her freakish powers of observation are never explained. Also, Dash sees all of this happening below and doesn't mention nor ask about it. This pointless staple. 
Get a better staple, Mister. That one is shit. Rather realistic conflict magically resolved in seconds to the extent that she not only passes the test but gets a full 100%. Wait. He never actually looks at Dash's answers. He just skims the page on top and gives her a 100% moments later. So he doing it like a scanner? Huh? That's strange that he did that if you ask me. You are not dumb. Flashcards! Okay, that's not funny. This is gonna be so much fun! Wait, why do I get the feeling that I'm below the ground? I don't know, but anyway, next up, Treja. Pinky addresses the audience. My fourth wall break strikes again! One side of the strap, and the other side magically attaches. Conversation starts at the train station and continues during their exiting of the cave, which suggests quite a lot of dialogue was cut based on how far apart they are. These princess wings. Princess wings! Either of them thinking this is a good idea, even though each of them are keen to get something for themselves. Applejack may not be good with math, but Rarity should know better. Princess on duty, but I don't think that means I have to sit up there all alone doing nothing. Twilight neglects her one job because she thinks it's too boring. This first edition, one of a kind signed book is just sitting out on a table with no protection. You think that someone is gonna steal that book before Rainbow Dash can get her hoof on it? Well, oh, what is it I then? said the title name wrong! This had value to anyone but herself. It's one of a kind. Rarity's misuse of that phrase suggests she has a long history of eBay sales. The brooch was definitely not there before, not even in the shot directly. I think that thing magically appears. And that's what makes it so much more divine. Rarity admits even she knows they look alike, but the knowledge of one being older makes it rare. That means there's a 50% chance she just shoplifted. Some pony sent her to jail, please. Okay oh no! Oh no! 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 no. I was joking, Rarity. Orthros breaks random chains for the fun of it, but not its rope. The episode storyboard is visible here. Lamp appears, disappears, then reappears somewhere over here. Okay, who's Grab doing that? Probably Discord. See Pony Cutie Mark. Fluttershy's bad main day. It's okay, Fluttershy. We all had bad main days. Of that one Brony written episode. The show has officially been fully infiltrated. And there's his OC again. Copied straight from previous episodes. They might have gotten away with it too if it wasn't for this blatant Philly Applejack clone. You, sir. You deserve a cookie for referencing Scooby Doo. This sin is in memorandum of my suspension of disbelief. Let it rest in peace. Yep, At rest no in point, peace to his suspension now, of disbelief. They simply buy one of the items on their trading list. If the chalice can be traded for with a rusty old horseshoe, oh, they can don't remind me of that, please. Pinkie Pie traumatizes a child. The nose boop makes it a Sultan battery. I just came to pony watch. You can add stalking to the list of Pinkie's crimes. Stalking? Check. Fly over to the lampstand and find out what kind of chicken you want. If she's so fast, she could have done it by now. Why is she still talking? Well. Maybe you shouldn't get one of those? Yet another vendor quiet about something they shouldn't be okay with, and this time there's no denying he's aware of it. Background pony behind AJ appears out of nowhere and casually walks away. Dash's hoof detaches at the edges. Um, you, you forgot your hoof there, darling. Show, only to be depicted as a jerk. No. Why does Lemon Hearts have to pay, but none of these ponies do? Good question. Light turns on, even though the pull chain isn't pulled. One head for licking ponies, the other head for something else. The one time Rainbow Dash is in a hurry and doesn't think to fly. Yeah, she's taking the Orthros, but she could always fly ahead and make the trade twice. Yeah, Rainbow, away. why are you but standing no, there? You when you can fly, fly just saying? Vendor handles first edition one of a kind signed book after being covered in dog spit. Vendor immediately heads for Manhattan without closing down their booth. That's some shitty vendor business coming from that pony? You sold your friend into servitude. Element of loyalty, everyone. Yeah, that was a mistake. Pinky takes a page from the marketing playbook of Hasbro. Over here, over here. Changeling disguised as Minuet forgets to alter her voice. That pony is acting sus. Pinky, no fucking among us jokes, please. Oops, accidentally moved the episode to the left. Just kidding. The editor of the episode itself. I didn't fall for that. But nice joke there, anyways. In front of them. They're just magically moving down the track in one lone car. It's way too quiet in here, considering this window is open. No, not that head. Ha 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 ha! That frame that you're doing there, Pinky! How is Rainbow Dash gonna get the book she really wants? Well, she's not. Well, that's just fucking great! Huh? Has 
will be like, I'll take your entire stock? And last but not least, Inspiration Manifestation. Bowl and Philly Fair translates to Baby and Girl Fair. So basically the same audience as what we're watching now. Just because the attendees are young doesn't mean they don't deserve my very best creative work. Rarity, sweet summer child, just look at what the youngins are watching on YouTube these days. Yeah, I can at least name at least one kid video on YouTube, you know which one. Oh, Philly Fair must be a pretty big oh, event. Oh, Baby Shark! Too big to Correct! Show on screen even. Both problems with the puppet theater are easily fixed. Simply remove the rear legs and flowers. Of course, that's not possible because then the episode wouldn't exist. True, true. These possessed wings. Possessed wings! Hunts for a vague magical solution all on his own instead of just asking his best friend and guardian who happens to be a bona fide expert on magic. It's not who. It's the who joke is almost as unfunny and repetitive as a that joke is almost as unfunny and repetitive as Yeah, it's getting less and less funny. ...from Invisible Rail. It also phases through these books. Come on, help a dragon out. Why do you have to make everything about race, Spike? That's a cool trick, Spike, but the lock wasn't doing anything anyway. But still Why cool nonetheless. Why have this book in such a giant room to contain it? Don't they have a better location to protect dangerous magic? The book's binding constantly swaps sides throughout the episode. If I wasn't supposed to have it, it wouldn't be so easy to get. Spike watches a lot of movies online. Oh, do ya? Title drop! This bell is decoration only. Strange. I could have sworn that bell is supposed to move. The book given to her by Spike of all people is a good idea. Does she not remember the last time some pony used a random spell before knowing what it did? The cart's wheels are on the wrong side. Picking it up to move it around would result in it digging into the ground. Cheerly begins to roll up this banner, but then freezes and doesn't move at all. Hey, Miss Cheerly, can you just let it go? Rarity pronounces scosh as scooch and hopes no pony notices. My full line for the next 15 seasons! 19 seasons and a movie. Rarity's ladylike beatboxing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I always like that! Spoons anyway. Only Celestia Pony might know. Teleported far away or deleted from existence. In either event, there's Hi, a chance Tavia! Rarity just committed murder. The gazebo has been turned into solid crystal. What gazebo? You mean Town Hall? The multi-story enclosed structure not at all fitting the definition Yeah, of I think she means and by that. Are now trapped inside its walls. It would be three ponies, but I was on break and totally not neglecting my work there. Transform! Never underestimate the power of Rarity's creative <laughs> <laughs> The <laughs> possession is when Spike seizes the empty compliments and tells her the truth. But in execution, this raises so many questions. Why wasn't it lifted when other true words were spoken? Had this occurred in any other situation, how could they have gotten Um, maybe yeah, if Spike would have not fucking Spike's found the goddamn book Rarity in the first place. Caused all the trouble. Maybe she was being controlled by something, but no pony made her cast the spell in the first place. I guess you could say that she was under her spell. Celestia, she just didn't feel like helping. Do you have any idea how hard it was to reverse that much dark magic? The least reversible of magic is, of course, dirk magic. That's right, we've made fun of both Tabitha St. Germain and Tara Strong today. No one's going to watch Cinema Sins after this. I hope he doesn't make fun of my voice actor. I'm just being honest. We have to wait another 64 episodes before we learn the pitfalls of being too honest. Oh, season seven, episode seven. Honest Apple. Okay, I understood that. Fifteen. Hmm. Yo, it doesn't travel. Oh, there's no room for my puppets. There, all done. And that was everything wrong with testing, testing one to three, trade ya, yeah, and inspiration manifestation. Looks like Equestria Games is up next now. I'm gonna be looking forward for that next week.